So hello friends, in today's video we are going to discuss about different transmission window for optical signals. So we can classify the transmission window for optical signal into three parts. The first window lies between 800 nanometer to 950 nanometers. The second window lies between 1280 nanometer to 1350 nanometer. The third window between 1510 nanometer to 1600 nanometers. You can see here, this is the graph, this is the attenuation graph. This is the absorption, ultraviolet, relay scattering, and infrared observation. This is the first, second, third window. This is the attenuation graph. This is the frequency graph. This is the fiber impurities. This is the frequency in terahertz, and this is the wavelength in nanometers. So this is the graph. We will discuss it in details in the next slides. So transmission window for optical signals. So let's have a look to the real attenuation value for optical fibers. We cannot avoid the main three types of photonation. So there are main three types of photonation. We cannot avoid this while talking about the transmission window. And what that three types of photonation? These three types of uh, type of photonation is ultraviolet and absorption, Rayleigh scattering, and infrared absorption. So each kilometer when the light travels along the fiber causes an attenuation of the signal. So the amount depends on its frequency. So the dominating absorption effect is Rayleigh scattering caused by microscopic in homo, uh, homo homogeneities of the index that can scatter a single ray of light in different direction. This effect becomes less severe with increasing frequency. So whenever the frequency is increasing, this type of absorption or you can say this type of relay scattering attenuation is decreased. With the, with the increase of the frequency, this attenuation decreases. The medium characteristics do not change, but the wave becomes longer and is scattering less sensible. Moreover, photons uh, traveling along the fiber can also be absorbed by impurities. So this is the second type of uh, attenuation. So whenever any photons traveling along the fiber, it is uh, that photons is absorbed by the impurities. In the first part of the spectrum, an important part of the total loss is related to the ultraviolet absorption. You can see here, this is the ultraviolet absorption. Above 1700 nanometer, light start to be directly absorbed by the molecules of cilia, silica, infrared absorption. So after 1700 nanometer, you can see here, this is the infrared absorption and this comes into existence above 1700 nanometer uh, wavelength. So you can see here, this start increasing above 1700. So whenever we are going beyond the wavelength 1700 nanometers, this attenuation we call, uh, will become very effective. And whenever the frequency is low, means the wavelength is lower, you can see the ultraviolet absorption and relay scattering comes into existence. So you can see here, there is a space or you can say there is a window where all these attenuation is low, means uh, relay scattering, ultraviolet absorption and infrared. So this is the third window. In that window, all the three types of attenuation is very low and that's why we use the third window of the optical signals. On the basis of three attenuation, we come on the conclusion that we can only use the wavelength 1500 nanometer to 1630 nanometer in DWDM for light propagation. Why? Because in this region, the attenuation is very less. All three types of attenuation is less. And when we go beyond this uh, frequency or if we go less than this frequency, any type of attenuation will keep on increasing. So you can see here, this is the graph. So this is the attenuation graph. You can see here, this is the attenuation decreasing, increasing, and this is the lower attenuation. So this is the infrared absorption, this is the relay scattering graph, and this is the ultraviolet absorption. So you can see here, second window or in this frequency, ultraviolet absorption and relay scattering is so much high, so the attenuation graph is high. And when we go beyond uh, 1700 nanometer, the infrared absorption comes into the existence. So this is the only window, third window, we can use for the DWDM transmission. So first window between 800 nanometer and 950 nanometer with a minimum attenuation value around 2 dB per kilometer. Second window between 1280 nanometer and 1350 nanometer with a mean attenuation value around 0.5 dB per kilometer. And this is the third window, 1510 nanometer and 1600 nanometer with a mean attenuation value around 0.2 dB kilometer, therefore the lowest possible. You can see here in first window, second window and third window. The attenuation is 
very less in the third window so this is the reason the third window is only one which is used for the long distance wdm processor medium thank you